my name is Jessie. This video is about how to lock down your ring so that you can't select things that you don't want to select and have, make your controls move only in the way that you intend it. Alright, so this video is a follow-up to another video that I have that's called how to finish your rig by organizing the outliner. So if you have not watched that video, you should go back and watch that because we're going to pick up where I left off in that video. So I have my outliner is all organized and I created a layer over here that has my mesh in it and I've turned that layer into a reference layer so that I cannot select my mesh. Um, just to quickly go over how you do that, if you select your whole mesh, you can click this button over here, this little plane with a circle on it, and that will create a layer and add all of the things you have selected to that layer. You can also add things after you've created a layer by right clicking on the name of the layer and saying add selected objects. And then it's this third option here that if I click it twice, will turn it to reference so you actually cannot interact with this layer anymore and it's just there for visuals now we have all of these controls on our rig and our master control can both move and rotate but i can also scale it which isn't necessarily very helpful this will break my rig um, and i have some fk arms here and i can actually move these but it doesn't do anything because FK arms are meant to rotate and not move. So there's a little bit of a problem here where my controls have things in the channel box that are available to me that are not intended to be how the rig works. So these are FK controls. These need to rotate in order to work properly. I should not be able to translate or scale them. So the way that we want to really lock down our rig is by going into the channel box and locking and hiding all of the channels that we do not want to be available to us while we're animating. So for all of my FK controls, most of the controls in the body are FK controls. So we can actually grab all of these. All of these controls are all FK controls. And so I can come over here to my channel box, highlight, the attributes that I do not want to be um, that I don't want to be available so I can right click and say lock selected and if I actually want to hide them I can say lock and hide so this is what actually I prefer so I can lock and hide and notice how they're no, no, no longer available in the channel box for my center of gravity control I want to lock and hide the scale. For my feet controls, these are IK controls, so I want to be able to move and rotate. So on these, I'm going to lock and hide the scale. And on the ball of the foot controls, these are just rotation controls. So I will lock and hide the translation and the scale. So lock and hide. And because now these things are no longer available to me, if I go to my move tool, notice how it's grayed out. I can't actually move this at all. So all I can do is rotate this tool. Now, once we hide something, it's also good to know how to bring it back just in case. So the way that you bring back things that you have hidden is by selecting the object that has the thing that you want to bring back in your channel box you go to edit channel control and this will show you all of the things that you can actually have available in your channel box that are hidden normally but if we scroll down we can see here we have our scale so we can bring these back so move into the keyable channel um, and we can also bring back our translate and we can say keyable or non-keyable but displayed. So if I move this over here, notice that it's it's available, but you just can't set keyframes on it. So maybe we want to put those in the keyable channel. So there's kind of two options for how you can show them in the channel box. Once we um, bring them back, 
When we hid them, we locked and hid them. So they're still locked. I still can't um, translate. But if I want to unlock, I select them, right click, and say unlock selected. And now my translate channels are available to use again. All right, now that your rig is properly child-proofed, now it's time to animate. See you next video.